We are making this video because I have been told in my past that I could be a music snob. And I was like, what are you talking about a music snob? And after thinking about it, I came up with at least three or four good ways to know if you're a music snob. And uh, yeah, so I'm only gonna talk about one of them today because I don't wanna do super long videos right now. So I'm gonna do a short one and just talk about one other things. So I was having a conversation the other day with one of the homies and we was talking about music and I came to the conclusion about how we as drummers, musicians, whatever, we can be music snobs. I mean, think about it. Before you just reject that notion outright, be honest. You know it's true. We could be music snobs. I mean, think about it. When's the last time that you've heard someone say or you yourself has mentioned the idea about real music and the fact that there just happens to be less and less of it? I mean, I get it. I really do. I mean, we take our favorite music and we call it real music and we demote everything else to just stuff that can never measure up to the real music that we like. And it's crazy because this even happens like inside of genres. So you can take funk, you can take jazz, you can take hip pop and it, it just it, it all happens it still happens but you know what you may not even think you're a music snob and you may not be but there's a few ways that I've determined whether or not I'm a music snob and I'm gonna just share one of them in this video because like I said I don't want this to be super long okay if you're a stickler for the idea of what you think the authentic version of a style is you just might be a music snob now like I said I get it I understand why this happens and I can see how it could be good in some instances but come on most of the time, a lot of time at least, I'll say, you're, you're, you're just a music snob and you don't know it. At least, that's what I learned about myself. But for example, I know this guy, he's a musician and he's a good musician and he loves funk music so much. <laughs> he loves funk music so much that you have to be careful what you call funk music around him or he'll take it personal. He will take it personal and be offended that you have said something was funk that wasn't funk to him or the authentic version of what real funk is. It may be that other stuff, that other kind of funk, but it ain't funk the original. Not the F-U-N-K, but the F-O-N-K. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's real specific to what he feels is the authentic version. And you know what? He might be right that that's how it started. You know what I mean? But things change. And once again, I get it because he's mastered this style and he understands the nuances of it. But it's funny because if you say, oh man, check this out, this is funk. He'd be like, man, that ain't no, that ain't, come on, man. That ain't funk, man. James Brown wouldn't have did that. And then of course the rant goes on. See, that's what's wrong with these musicians today, man. They just think they could just go and do whatever they want to do. But if, we, but if James Brown was here, you know what I mean? If, if, if they was with P-Funk, you, you, you didn't see Dennis Chambers doing that. <laughs> Look, I can't do nothing but laugh, man, because it's not that they're not right. James Brown didn't do that. But that doesn't mean that we can't call this funk. That doesn't mean that we, but to him it does. It's like it's, 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 and he's not the only person I know like that. And it's not just with funk, it's with all kinds. Look, you can look up hip hop and you will see many people bashing anything that's not their idea of what real hip hop is. And they will have defined it, which means now that you can't do anything outside of that and call it hip hop. You have to call it something else. Or they're gonna be offended and some people may even wanna fight. I've seen that happen where it's just, the conversation just got way too heated about music. But anyway, that's uh, all I wanted to say in this video. I'm gonna do some more videos like with other, cause I got some other ways that you can tell if you're a music snob and I only came up with these ways cause I used them on myself one day. So, I mean, it is what it is, but I'll uh, do another video, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna do it soon because I'm feeling like more videos right now. So I wanna know what you think may constitute a music snob. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave it in the comments below. If you're watching this on my blog, leave it in the comments below. Uh, I'm gonna definitely be checking out all the comments and answering and getting in there because I know that this is just a funny topic and it's fun for me to talk about because I think it's hilarious and I've been some of these guys, but you know, I think I'm more laid back than that now. I don't know. Yo, check out DamaniRosePlaylongs.com if you're looking for drum playlongs, that's where they're at. You already know. That's it. I'll holla at y'all on the next one. Peace.